Well, guys, we've got a lot done to this car. We got the brakes taken off the back. We got the spindle swap in the front. We got the control arm swap in the front. We got the four cylinder motor into it. We got this aftermarket steering column into it. We got the interior completely gutted. We got a gas tank in it, battery box into it. But there's a couple things that I haven't done yet. I haven't put a fuse panel into this uh, because I've ordered some new ones that I want to try out and I want to see how well it works. And if I like it, I'll let you guys know. Um, I haven't taken the windows out because it's Canada and it's winter. So instead of having the whole interior fill full of snow, I'll leave the windows in and then uh, hopefully it doesn't fill up with snow over the Christmas holidays. Uh, we haven't started building it, we haven't put a cage in it, we haven't put a bumper onto it, we haven't put anything like that onto the car because I don't know where it's going. So as it sits right now, the car is about 50% built, it needs a cage. It needs an electronic system, and I want to make it really nice. I want to make these electronic systems nicer and nicer. Um, it needs bumpers, but depending on where it goes and what 2022 rules are like here in Ontario, I don't know. So that's where this car sits. Um, I haven't tried firing it. I know that this is the motor that I've done the work to, and it was running on the carburetor, but I haven't tried firing it yet. Mostly because I like to randomly roll dice and hopefully they come up uh, with a good uh, good roll. But uh, the other fact is, is there's a lot of stuff I haven't done to the car yet. So I guess you guys are going to have to wait just like I'm going to have to wait to hear this thing run. Um, we did uh, take the rear brakes off. You guys weren't here for that. Um, all You guys see me do the ABS delete so the lines to the back were already done. All I did was pull the calipers off, cut the, bracket, the backings on the back and put them all back together. Nothing really fancy in the back. Um, interior, you guys seen it. Actually, let's go underneath the hood. Because now I have the hood back on. And I'll show you guys what I did underneath the hood. Where we left off. So basically, this was a V6 manual car. And we pulled that out. And we put a four-cylinder automatic in it. And uh, we put a good transmission bolted to this motor. We took off all the carburetting system. We put the fuel injection back on. We stole a harness off a different motor that was going to scrap. We put that on here. And we stole an alternator from a different car, threw that on here. Basically, this car here is salvage parts from everything else. But we do have that big hole in the firewall. You guys see that? And that's because I cut that piece out for Earl. So, uh... Hopefully it doesn't make this car super weak, but who cares? I needed it for Earl. So we got the throttle cable hooked up, we got the axles in, we got the transmission on. We don't have a shifter in it, but I do have the bracket on the front of the transmission because I like running my shifters through the windshield and I want to leave the glass in this. So that's basically how it looks underneath here right now. We got rid of all the ABS, which is something you guys ask me for a lot. And it's not something I really do a lot, so I wanted to make a video and show you guys how I got rid of the ABS. Uh, so there's underneath the hood. We have our battery box mounted to the floor. We have a fuel pressure regulator in this car, which we stole from this car, because I don't know where this thing's gonna run, because it's been sitting here for a year and a half now. We got the battery cable inside here. We got our aftermarket steering wheel, stock column, just aftermarket steering wheel. And it's quick release, because I've seen a lot of people start using these, and I wanna start using them. We got our fuel line nice and tidy along the floor to the boat tank. I want to start running nicer tanks. I really do. I just don't like the prices of them right now. Um, if some of them get out there really cheap, I'd like to start buying them as long as they're good. I'd like ones that can take a uh, new Camry pump and old Camry pump so they can just have two pumps in it and run either car. But uh, we got the interior all stripped out. A little bit of stuff back here, but usually I remove that when I do the back window so then I can vacuum it up a little bit easier. And we haven't really done anything to the trunk. We did take the rear brakes off, but it's sitting on factory 15 inch rims and it's pretty much good to go. I still haven't found a project name for this one that I like as much as some of the other Solaris that we've named, but it's ready. It's, it's not ready. It's about 50% ready. It's about as far as I want to take it before I find out 2022 rules because that's the problem with that car right there I built that car in 2019 and because of the I built it over the like this time 2019 and then corona happened and all the rules changed so hard in 2020 and 2021 because I have the frame cut shorter on that I can only run it pro 
and I have too many other pro cars. I wanted that to be like a light stock, and now it's just strictly pro because I cut it shorter. I only cut it shorter by three eighths of an inch, but as soon as I do that, that car can no longer run stock class by me. But all I did was just kind of cut that little nipple off the front. Uh, some of our rules here, you have to run factory bumpers now. So that car there, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's still sitting there. It's not hurting me. It's starting to hurt me. It's starting to hurt my feelings that it's sitting there for this long. But oh well. But we can get this one outside. We can get another project in here. I don't think I'm going to bring a derby car in here right now. I think I'm going to bring in one of my winter projects. I have the Lexus. I'd really like to get the motor inside. Earl. I still have Earl. It's a winter project. I have a Tacoma. I'd like to put a 5.3 in. I kind of think that one would be a little bit quicker, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that. Or, I don't know. I don't know which one I want in here first. I don't know if I want Earl or I want the Tacoma. It's a tough call, you know. I think the Tacoma would be a lot easier to get running, but if I get Earl together, that would clean up a lot of space. But this is a tough call, and I really don't know the right answer for it, unfortunately. I have a buddy coming over here in an hour, and I'm going to talk to him, and uh, I'll maybe make a video out of it and decide what car we should bring in, Earl or the Tacoma. But everybody, thank you very much for watching. Um, I know that I just had that long, long run of Blizzard Bash videos. I know that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I'm really liking how this channel's growing. Zach's Workshop's getting bigger. Zach's Workshop's getting bigger and bigger every day. So thank you very much. Uh, the Facebook page is blowing up. Uh, if you guys want to join the Facebook page, remember it's free. Just make sure you answer the security question. We have a lot of people that are coming in trying to scam, so we are actually paying attention. If you answer the question, you get in. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you back here on Zach's Workshop. And I want to mention, I have shirts available. Check out the links below. I'm starting to partner up with a company in the U.S., and uh, there is tumblers, glasses, phone cases, t-shirts, hats. So make sure you check out the link in the description if you want some Zach's Workshop merchandise. I'm trying to get some new designs made, and I'm going to try to get them on the shirts there. So thanks, everybody, and we'll see you back here tomorrow on Zach's Workshop.